How much time are you wasting trying to navigate the calendar in Outlook? Hi, I'm Dawn. Let's look at 10 time-saving ways to change the view of your Microsoft Outlook calendar. From the Outlook calendar, you're probably familiar with the different options for viewing under the Home tab or the View tab. For instance, I can change to the Day view, Work Week, Week, Month, and even a schedule view. However, you can also change the view with these five handy keyboard shortcuts. To go to the day view, control alt one. Work week, control alt two. This will give us five days from Monday through Friday. Week view, control alt three, or even use alt in the minus sign. For the month view, Control Alt 4 or Alt and the equal sign. And to switch to the schedule view, Control Alt 5. The schedule view provides a horizontal display of multiple calendars if you have access to calendars for other team members. For a free handout of these and many other handy Outlook keyboard shortcuts, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash Outlook. Another quick way to change the view or navigate in the Outlook calendar is with Go To. Simply press Control G. Here we can go to a specific date. But the big advantage of Go To is the ability to work with natural language. So you can use terms like next Monday or three weeks or first Friday of next month. All of these are various ways for us to easily leverage GoTo. Let's wrap up our tricks with the calendar view by working with the date navigator. The date navigator is at the left hand side. One of the options is the ability to resize the date navigator so you can view more months at a time. And this can be really handy from a planning perspective. Another trick is to use the date navigator to customize what you want to view. So for instance, I want to see these two weeks in July. I can highlight them from the date navigator, let, release my mouse, and now I actually am seeing just those two weeks. So that gives me a custom view versus the work week or the month. All we need to do is highlight exactly which dates we'd like to see. Or maybe we want to see specific dates, maybe just three dates here in July. So I'll hold down Shift, click on the first one here, hold Shift, and cl click on the Thursday of that week as well. So now I have three days in that week. That is another way then to really isolate and customize exactly what I want to see. And finally, our last tip is what if you have a request for a meeting and you want to check availability? Well, rather than clicking on each day individually and trying to look and see where you might be available, instead of using the shift key, I'll use control. So I'll go to June 29th here, hold control, I'm holding control, July 6th, and July 11th. So they're not even consecutive dates, and I can look at this now at a glance and see availability to make it easier to respond to a meeting request. And that's our look at time-saving tips, tricks, and shortcuts to navigate and view your Outlook calendar. To download a handout of Microsoft Outlook keyboard shortcuts or to join my free tips newsletter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash Outlook. If this training was helpful, please subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks for watching.